<laughs> All right, here's here's a good one from Michael. This is actually a really good question. I like this. Reed, what's your inspiration for the designs you make, and how do you come up with those ideas? Are those crazy client requests? That's a good question. Some of them are like I, you know, it's it always it it makes me really happy when I can work on a project that I can actually come away with like a new tool set or like a, a new visual. So that one that um, uh, Adam, I think you actually called out on in a, in a roundup um, earlier this year, where I. Um, I had like the three part card. It was the um, the value at the top, kind of the little bar in the middle that I used a button for, and then the bottom. Like that was something that somebody threw me as a mock up, and it's like, all right, well, I've never really seen this visual before, and how the heck do I make it? And I just figured out how to mash stuff together. Um, yep. So that's you know, um, that's a card I've shown to other people, and I've actually implemented in more than one report now. But it, that was inspired from a client request. Um, the table heat map that I've done with the matrix table that came about because I wanted to reproduce something I saw in Google Analytics. Yep. So sometimes I do just get inspired myself, but a lot of times it's I see something in another system or you know with another tool, and I want to figure out how to make it in Power BI, and you know which makes for awesome videos if I figure out a workable solution. Yeah, totally. Um, the yep. I, again, it goes back to the tinkering comment, right? So you're playing around yeah. with things, you're trying things, you're you're being mm -hmm. mindful of colors uh, and how they interact with other things. You're looking at contrast. Yep. You're looking at um, you know, and then, and then playing around. So the biggest thing that I've done also is sometimes I don't know necessarily what a visual is capable of doing. And so I go through a lot of the, 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 the settings that you can go through and just oh, trying yeah. them and see like, okay, what does this change? Oh, okay. That looks good. And then with this other thing, I don't know, I gotta, I gotta tweak this a little bit and, oh, that totally screws up this other thing. And so you're just playing around with it and trying it and, Picking that up. Do you, uh, along with that, do you do, like for any of those types of items, do you do any storyboarding before you actually do it in the report or are you just playing around in the report as you go? There's, uh, to an extent, if, if I'm actually trying to create like the interface for the entire report design, I'll start to storyboard for that to help you know, yeah. create a flow and also run ideas past um, stakeholders or clients. But if yeah. I'm just thinking of like a single visual, then I don't do the, the storyboarding. Um, though to your, to your comment, Adam, um, the, you know, like the tinkering with stuff, the two things that I actually think are very viable to tinker as far as, you know, visuals is the matrix and buttons. Like they, there's actually a ton of unique uses for both of those from like a, just a, a pure visual standpoint and so many use cases for them because they have so many different formatting options, especially buttons that, um, you know, uh, with the number of states and everything else, there's a ton of ways to use them that has nothing to actually do with buttons or actions the, you know, it just has yeah. like, um, it's a you know, very open sandbox environment for how they can be displayed. Nice. Nice. Yep. Alrighty. Patrick, any thoughts on your end of like, I know you're, you're really into visualizations and making reports look pretty. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at that face. 